Now, if I go to lines, we start talking about movement journal. It's asking for a specific item. Let's say I already have a bunch of ebook black cases. And as you see, if I go to the transactions, you're going to order like similar scenario that you had on the purchase order. The transaction and the receipt column is set to order. That means you're adding one more into the inventory. And indeed, if I open up the dimension display, I can add a warehouse into the specific form. So you can also see the warehouse here. But as you see, site was already selected because due to my selection of the inventory parameter, I said that always show the site. If you are always looking for these type of dimensions to be shown in the form, you may as well set that up on the inventory parameter. Now, as you see, I'm trying to also show other dimensions such as color and configuration, perhaps batch number, serial number, and I save it for future. As you see, the cost price and cost amount will be appeared based on the settings that you have. If it is a FIFO or LIFO, then the average costing will be calculated for you, which I have a different demonstration coming up for you. But as you see, there's an offset account field that is available. You must specify the value here. The quantity could be positive. That means you're adding. And once more, on, on hand, if you notice, it knows exactly how many have you already got in your inventory. And you're going to add one more. So if I have, let's say, 208 in the movement, I'm adding one more is going to be 209. Now, if I close this, then I can change the quantity, let's say, automatically look at the cost price and the amount would be twice as much. Alternatively, you can take a look at the general and again, specify a different offset account for this line versus the other line. Financial dimensions, you can preset the value that are mandatory on the inventory dimension. You can also preset some of the values in case is a product master, you can specify those dimensions. Now, if I validate this, as you can tell, is going to give me an error indicating that you have to have an offset account. So this offset account could be overwritten and could be different from those that are associated with the item group. But since I don't want to create any other account, I'm using this account that represents any activities that needs to be saved into the general ledger in regards to inventory transactions. Now, when I validate, the offset account is set, so I don't have any issue with it. Once more, as a review, indicating that this has been ordered by Movement Journal, which is a reference to a transaction rather than a purchase order. On the function, in case you're dealing with batch reservation, there's a concept that you may want to reserve from the same batch. You have the capability to come here and specify if you don't have enough, then you need to have a batch disposition code, as we discussed before, as part of the item model group. If you don't have enough available, you can block certain activities like don't allow this to be reserved don't allow this to be sold to be transferred etc so you can reset the batch disposition code if you like to we talk a lot more in regard to batch reservation in future sessions but usually in a process manufacturing batch reservation is a huge topic now if i go back to transaction and on hand, I can, of course, verify how many am I going to have, but you do see also reservation that you can enable and have it to be done manually. The marking, which is a concept of costing, which we have a different session. I'm going to discuss that shortly for you. And the idea here is you're marking a, a specific line of one document against the other. Like let's say you're marking a sales order entry against a purchase order value. So that bypasses the calculation of costing for you in case of any model that you're dealing with, such as FIFO, LIFO in a costing, it bypasses that and forces that document to always look at the prices of the other document. You can link purchase order to a sales order or production order to a purchase order. That's marking. That means make an exception to the rule and it doesn't go through the standard formulation of calculating the cost. Registration and PIG is also available there for you. So if I come to the reservation, as you can tell, the reservation cannot be taking any number because I'm actually adding a quantity here. Reservation will be happening when you have a negative. That means you have to pick it. You reserve it before you pick it. All those activities that you used to do within the purchase order and sales order are now available also here. I add a new line and I use ebook white case 